Hello everybody to the J72 Gaming Channel. Today, I have a realistic and relaxing episode here on Sit Back, Kick Back Sundays. Every Sunday, we will have an episode on this channel with no commentary, simply a time for all of us to enjoy the atmosphere and scenery of the games we play. Today, we followed the creatures of Prehistoric Kingdom and get to learn a bit more about a few of them. Now, onto the good vibes, relaxing atmosphere, and epic scenery of Prehistoric Kingdom. Enjoy. T-Rex has the most powerful bite force of any land animal on the planet. And if those massive jaws weren't threatening enough, you know it could swallow you and me both in one go. This is a creature of pure instinct, so let's hope it doesn't try to take back its kingdom anytime soon. While your favorite dinosaur movie might have depicted the T-Rex with rather poor vision, brain scans have revealed that its vision rivaled that of modern birds of prey, which means that it's watching you just as much as you're watching it. Eerie stuff. Lambiosaurus, a crested hadrosaur from the late Cretaceous. Hadrosaurs are commonly called duck-billed dinosaurs, after the toothless beak at the front of their mouths. But they aren't completely toothless. Behind the beak are dense concentrations of teeth that are continually replaced, sort of like a shark. If sharks were cows, that is. Found all over Western North America, Edmontosaurus is the textbook definition of a hadrosaur. They're one of the most well-studied animals in the fossil record, providing us with a wealth of insight into how they ate, socialized, and survived. There it is, Carmarosaurus, the star of the Morrison Formation. Fossils of Carmarosaurus are some of the most common remains found in the Morrison. Luckily for us, that means we have a wealth of information to work with, including what it ate and even how it laid its eggs.
Now that, my friend, is a beautiful dinosaur. Almost like a musical instrument, Parasaurolophus used their crest for long-distance communication. There's been simulations in the past that tried to reconstruct how they could have sounded, but nothing quite compares to the real thing. Protoceratops. This animal is one of the smaller species of ceratopsians, living alongside deadly neighbors like the Velociraptor. I guess that's important if you're trying to avoid speedy thieves like Velociraptor. I guess that's important if you're trying to avoid speedy thieves like Velociraptor. <laughs> 